Hi, this is Mel Soul, and this is Training Aid Tuesday. On a Tuesday, we talk about training aids that will help your game. Um, my definition of practice is focused repetition with feedback. The feedback can be a training aid. It can also be a second pair of eyes. If you're working on something, you want someone to look and say, oh, look, I'm trying to do this. Tell me if I'm doing it. Training aid can also be, feedback can also be your divot. Watching your divot and seeing which direction your divot is going or the back edge of your divot will always give you your club face angle at impact. So uh, today's teaching aid is a follow-up on last Tuesday's teaching aid. Last Tuesday, we used the elbow tactic to help us keeping the arm straight there and the arm straight there. Today you can see I have what is called the wrist tactic. And so this does the same type of thing. It clicks and gives me feedback when my wrist is breaking down. Now again, this has multiple uses. Uh, if you have a tendency at the top of the backswing to cup your wrist, you can hear that noise. When you cup your wrist, you can see what happens to my club face. My club face will open. Most people that slice will tend to cup that wrist like that. When you come in, the club face is going to be open. So by wearing the wrist tactic, when I get to the top, if I don't hear a click, I know my wrist is flat, my club face is going to be square. I can use it either with chipping and pitching. Little pitch shots, I want to be able to not hear it. Little chip shots. If the tendency with a lot of the golfers that I teach is to do that. If I do that, you can hear that little thing is going to click. It's going to give me the feedback I need that I'm not doing it correctly. And I want to stand and hit shots over and over and over again until I can hit shots and not make this click. When you're working on technique and you're working with a training aid, don't have a target. So if I'm working on chipping, don't go to a green, don't chip to a flag. When you're working on the technique, I want you focusing on this and not on where the ball is going. So just on the range, just hit little shots. And I'm working on only this. Once I can stand here and do that over and over again, now when I go to the chipping green, my body's already comfortable with that motion. You're going to find it's going to be a lot easier. Putting, same thing. When you've got the putter, And I've been guilty of this myself over the years, is I will stand with my wrist too cupped right in when I start putting. I want my wrist to be full, so I've got a little bit of forward shaft lean when I start, and when I go through, the same thing as the chipping, I don't want any breakdown. If I do, I'm gonna get that feedback. So this is something with multiple uses that's gonna help you with your putting, your chipping, your pitching, your bunker shots, and then of course your full swing, particularly at the top of the back swing. But if you're scooping and you're coming through this way, when you're hitting the full shots, same thing, you're gonna get that feedback. Something you can use instead of this, but you would only do it with short shots, would be a popsicle stick. You took a popsicle stick and slid it under your watch and into your glove, and practiced your chipping or your putting with it, I wouldn't go much bigger than that. If, it, if you're bending a lot, it could dig into you and hurt you. So I would just use it there. This I can use even in the full swing because it's not going to hurt me. All of these devices that we're using are available on my website. So you can go and check it out there. Um, at times I'm going to be doing a teaching aid that's not going to be available on my website. At that time, I will tell you exactly where to purchase it. I will give you the name of the website or store that you can go to. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you on Wednesday.